Suppose X is the amount of time and hours a book on two-hour reserve will be checked out. The following is the proposed PDF, where f of X is equal to X over 2 for when X is between 0 and 2. We want to first find the expectation of X and then the variance. So the expectation of X is simply just integrating our PDF over the sample space, so from 0 to 2, where we multiply X times the PDF. So of course this is equal to the integration of from 0 to 2 of x squared over 2 dx. If we integrate this, this will be x cubed over 6 and we will evaluate this expression from 0 to 2 which is equal to then 8 over 6 minus 0 which is simply just equal to then 1.33 hours. So we would expect on average that the book would be checked out on reserve 1.33 hours. All right, so then what's the variance of x? Well, again, this is always going to be the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x quantity squared. So we just calculated this expectation of x. It is 1.33. So let's go ahead and leave a place for this and say 1. So whatever the expectation of x squared is going to be, minus 1.33 squared. All right, so we need to calculate this expression, the expectation of x squared. And this is just equal to the integration over the sample space of x squared times our PDF. So x over 2 dx. So this is the same as 0 to 2 of x cubed over 2 with respect to x. And so if we integrate this, we get x to the fourth over 8. And we will evaluate the expression from 0 to 2. And here we will get 16 over 8 minus 0. So this is equal to then 2. So our expectation of x squared is equal to 2. So if we plug it in up here like I just did, then we can calculate the variance. So the variance kind of has like a two-step process in calculating it. So we plug this in and we find that our variance is 0 0.22. And to tack on some units to that, that would be hours squared. All right, because it's the variance, our units are squared. All right, now for the second part of this example, it says suppose the library charges a $1 fee to check out any book plus an additional 50 cents for each hour the book is checked out. So what this means is that we have a new random variable. We're going to call it y. And this is equal to $1. So the fee is $1 plus another 50 cents or half dollar times x. That's every hour the book is being checked out. And so we have now a new random variable that happens to be expressed in a linear combination of another random variable. So we can easily find the expectation of y through the rules of linear combinations. So the expectation of y is equal to 1 plus 0.5x which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.5 times the expectation of x. And since we just found this in the previous example, we know that this is then equal to 1 plus 0 0.5 times 1.33, which is then equal to 1.33. Six, seven. And something to make note of is that this is now in different units. This is in dollars. So this was this is a dollar unit. This is dollars per hour. And this was hours. So basically now our units have changed with the new random variable. That's just something to kind of keep track of. All right, so that means that on average we expect the fee to be earned, which would be 1.67. Uh, dollars to check out a book on reserve. So what would be then the uh, standard deviation of y? So let's go back up here and it looks like we're supposed to find the standard deviation of y. Well again, the standard deviation 
is always just going to be the square root of the variance of a random variable. So if we look at the variance, we know from the rules of linear combination that the variance of y will be the variance of 1 plus 0 0.5x. And again, this is because it's a linear combination, we can then use these rules, which we know that the 1 will just basically go away. And because anytime you add one to all values of a random variable, it doesn't actually change the variation of the random variable. So that's why the one just doesn't quite do anything, but the 0.5 does. And so if we take the variance of this, we will get 0 0.5 squared. We bring that multiplier out and square it. And we multiply this then by the variance of x. So this is equal to the square root of... 0 0.25 times the variance of x, which is 0 0.22. And this is equal to the square root of 0 0.055, which is in all equal to 0 0.23 dollars, so 23 cents. So on average, the fee will vary by 23 cents. All right, hopefully this video helped you understand how you can use linear combinations to find expectations and variances.